Alrighty, guys. The final mission versus the Dread King. There are a lot of enemies here. And a lot. The thing is, I have this steam tank I was telling you about in the last video. This steam tank could probably solo this entire level. It's just so OP. Alright, uh, got the skull. Uh, what do you call them? Screaming skull catapults. Gotta warn, watch out for those things. Also, gotta check my corners. Put a cannon here. Got a steam tank. This thing will roll over anyone, no problem. It's near indestructible as well. Got the wood elf archers. We got the bright wizard. What do we got? Ooh, nice. <clears throat> the flame storm and the binding spell. Which are like a combination of those two are perfect. We got these guys. These guys. Can I put some more? Got my infantry. Okay, that's it. So, this will be my team, I suppose. It's very... Um, what would be the right name? Very ranged orientated, I suppose. Put the ogres out there. Wood elf archer, something like that, maybe. <clears throat> the ogres. Uh, no, halt. Ogres. I want them to turn around a little bit so we have a line of sight somewhere. Let's check. We got mummies, mummies, mummies. Lot, but low of archers. Alright. I think we'll be okay for now. And let's go. Okay, so the archers are moving in. Alright, these guys are getting slaughtered. Alright, we got mummies incoming. Figured something like that would happen. Drop these buggers. Throw a fire spell on them. Shoot them. You guys stop. How are the mummies? Eight. Damn, they, they just won't die. You guys focus on them, and them. All right. Lots of things happening at once here. Freeze them again. Recovery charge in there. Ragnar Wolves. Ooh, that's a good hit on lightning there. 
How many are left? Just two. All right. And these? Just four. All right. We got this. Nice. Just in time. Nice. Killed them in time. Got more enemies sighted. Come on, kill them. Gotta watch out for that necromancer that keeps perfect. <clears throat> mm. What's up next? Can I shoot these guys? That might be a perfect hit, actually. Hmm. I think I did hit them, but nothing happened. Maybe it's just a scratch. How much magic do you spell has this guy? Oh, crap. Come on, dispel. Next time he's going to teleport in, he doesn't have any magic dispels, so... <clears throat> Lost a few archers here. Did I already hit a mummy? Come on. Oh. Just make sure you don't aggro him. Kill this guy quickly. Kill the necromancer, come on. Got so many arrows flying his way. Oh my god, he still escaped. Imagine if that cannonball's gonna hit him. Ooh, <laughs> pretty close there. Alright, so these guys are not moving. They're just getting shot up by my cannon. That's fine. That's what they want to do. Might get, a lu Might get a lucky shot in with my mortar. Crap, here we go again. Necromancer is super annoying. Well, some of these are still dying, so just taking my sw sweet time. Die already. What's wrong with this necromancer? You're still alive? Are you kidding me? Alright, 
they still have this guy keeps teleporting all over the level perfect another one down I really need to take out that necromancer before I do anything else. Finally. Get wrecked, frickin' necromancer. Alright. <clears throat> Everyone stop firing. I guess you guys could keep firing. Still six of those. Five now, I think. Yep. Okay, we're almost in range. There we go. Are these guys even in range of me? Do I have a higher range than I do? I mean, do I have a higher range than they do? Am I hitting them? I am. Nice. Okay, I'm going to retreat for a second. Five of these guys left. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with my Ragnar Wolves. You guys will protect the left flank. My ogres have the left the right flank. They already lost the ogre, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? Only four of them left now. I killed another one. Gotta watch out for that one. But I also gotta watch out for whatever's gonna spawn. I know there's more of those buggers out there. Alright, retreat. Oh crap, they're right there. Quickly. How come I can't see? There we go. Quickly give him a sea of flames.
How many are there actually? Nine? Okay. Twelve. That group is quite a lot bigger. Might have to run in soon. Actually, they're almost dead. You guys charge in. Oh. Stop shooting, please. I can select my inventory. Where's my inventory at? There we go. Wait for this okay. quickly. <clears throat> Go at it again. Come on, there's just one. Finally, one down, another one down. Perfect. I know. So we'll go up again, see what else we can pull in. You wait with firing. Now you can keep shooting at those guys. Should be done almost. There's two of them left, and then there's this. Can I? That's one that's slightly out of range. Oh, wait. It's my steam tank. I can. Okay, perfect. Target received. March forward a little bit. I think there's more mummies out there. Oh crap. Oh, that was close. Retreat. How are we doing on this side? There's still two left. I can't hit them apparently. You know what, Cannon? Start shooting at these guys. Fresh batch. So we've got quite a few units here. Fortunately, I don't have teleport. That was a hit, but no kill, I believe. Yeah. Mummy's got several hit points. Saw a bit of gooey splatter here. No kills though. <clears throat> this 
guys are tough. Even when a pentabolt is going straight through them, it only hits one unit. Take care of these guys. Okay, they're at least they're moving my way now. There we go, two more down. Now they're moving within range to shoot me. Well, I still have a full unit of crossbow units, 16 of them. Yeah, I know. But you're returning fire, so stop whining. I know you are. Nice. Killed a few more. There's only a bunch of them left. I think there's four. Now there's two. Or possibly three. Alright, one more. So these battles, you can bait them out a lot more than Shadow of the Horned Red. In Shadow of the Horned Red, a lot of things are going to happen at once. Alright, one unit down. That's... Nice, I suppose. Now, I need to find a decent way to take those things out. I suppose I could go in with my uh, Ragnar Wolves again. Problem is, they need to go pretty close in order to use the Banner of Wrath. I don't want to trigger the rest. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there's more mummies out there. Almost a thousand percent sure. But I don't know where their trigger point is. I was afraid that thing would land right on my head, but... Luckily it didn't. Can I charge into this? Oh, they can't see me. Crap. Oh no. <sighs> Fudge. Oh my god. Does this sound across the entire map? It doesn't, I think. No, these guys are gonna get slaughtered now. That landed right on top of my face. That's a good charge. Oh no. Oh my god, he's already attacking. Didn't know that was gonna happen. No. Rest in peace, Ragnar Wolves. Or not. GTFO. Run like hell.
Raise these guys, come on. There's a lot of them incoming now. How many? Where's the Dread King? I lost the Dread King, that's not good. You don't want to loot line of sight him actually. Steam chain can run over any of these guys without any problem. Watch this. Choo choo. Lost the ogres. Oh my god. Oh, I killed him. That's nice. Thing won't die though. Come on, quickly. Give me something to lock these guys in. Ooh, the rest of the mummies are also charging in actually. It's just one of them left, right? Yeah. Luckily I was able to take out the Dread King. My Ragnar was flat off the screen. That's a shame. Chugga chugga chugga, get wrecked. Missed. Run him over, steam tank power.
freeze those guys. Come on. Charge in. Right, and stop firing. All right, nice. My crossbow units are still here. Watch your. Fire, please. So, okay, so I think that was the majority of it. What we have left now is three units of archers and three screaming skull catapults. We lost four cavalry. We lost five infantry. I'm actually a bit worried about these two. Maybe I can go around with my calf. There we go, kill those buggers. Maybe I should throw in my infantry as well. Steam tank. You guys go that way. Let the archers follow you. It's a better old defiance, I believe. Can anyone pick it up? Maybe the archers can. Might as well pick it up. So yeah, my ogres died. I'm not sure what... Maybe my archers killed them. They were holding back the mummies. The Ragnar walls, I'm pretty sure they fled off screen. Luckily, I ran over that Drag King, though. Because he was just about to uh, wipe out my armies. They were all fleeing. But then I think he got trampled while my units were fleeing. That happened to my units sometimes as well. The enemy is fleeing, you chase them down, and you start losing so many units. Oh. Wonder if I can, like, try to ambush these guys. At least six of them, I just realized. <clears throat> well, my uh, cavalry is out of line of sight now. I lost the Banner of Wrath because they fled off screen. Yeah, those guys are going to get massacred. Just a few of them left, right? one I believe all right another group down
Volt. What I want to try is something kind of dangerous. Let me get my steam tank out here. I'd like to try get cavalry in there, that's easy. Then get these units to get this one. problem is these guys they're in the way so they're gonna charge these guys instead I'm almost certain maybe I could move these guys in there and then these guys in there I think that's a better idea actually because the flaming skulls on top of the archers if I charge them from the left or from down you can be certain they will attack these skeleton archers first. You wait here. These are hidden, these are hidden. They can only see four of my units. And since they're not turning around, I'm pretty sure I can catch these guys by surprise. These guys are super dangerous, but only when they when you allow them to fire. When I went into it with my Ragnar Wolves, they were able to kill these just in time. But then I pulled like six packs of mummies, including the Dreadlord, so I think only losing the Ogres, I did pretty well. Okay, so we really gotta time this well. I want them to go in. And right when they're, I think when they're about the same distance as my cavalry, I will charge my cavalry in down south. Right about now. <clears throat> yeah, I think we got this. These guys will charge in those. He will probably see my cavalry just about now. And at that time, it's already too late, exactly. Don't flee, don't flee. Okay, perfect. That went actually according to plan. Pump up the infantry. No, the, the archers don't really care anymore. Help us. Come on, you're fighting catapult man. Come on, you're fighting catapult man as well. I'm pretty sure you can do it. Good thing. They're under fire. They didn't lose a unit. Well, guys, we got this one. There we go. There goes the catapult. You got Rune Fang. These guys are going to get slaughtered. Pump up my uh, unit strength a bit. Actually, lost a unit there. <clears throat> you know, they're archers, they're pretty strong. They got these skimmer, skimmer like weapons. Alright, well, we win. That's the last of the undead. One archer. The sound of Horn of Urgok. And that's it, guys. The Dark King is no more. We beat him. So, uh, unfortunately, rest in peace, ogres. But, uh, yeah. I can live with that. Only one casualty. I mean, it's better than how it did in Shadow of the Horn Red. After that battle, I lost quite a few units. Oh, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Alright, end video. Nothing happened. That kind of was going straight for Commander Bernard.
So long, Dread King. You are victorious. Tip 25. Use caution when advancing past obstacles such as buildings and trees, as enemy regiments might may be hiding behind them. Well, since this is the last one, let's see how many tips there are. I just want to browse through all of them. There's quite a few. Oh my god, there's a lot. Let's just protect your wizards and artillery crews from attacks by enemy missiles, fires, and ground troops. Yep. The steam tank is very tough. It can be used to draw enemy arrow fire with little chance of damage. You can sell armor and magic items for dragging the armor or item onto the bag of gold in the troop roster. Look out for enemies with magic items and kill them all. They will drop the item, allowing you to pick it up yourself. Use the lead and page down keys to quickly zoom in and out of the cursor's position. Magic items may be hidden in buildings or other structures. Detect the structures with magic or artillery fire. Look out for clues. The steam tank cannot be engaged in melee and will simply run over any enemies who get in his way, including the Drag King, but I didn't kill him that way this time. If one of your regiments is fleeing, drop any magic items they are carrying so others can use them. Yeah, I should have done that with the Ragnar Wolves. When being pursued by a faster enemy, drop the magic item. The enemy may stop to pick it up while you escape. Hmm. Depends. Wraiths can only be harmed by spells and magic items. In melee, ensure your regiment has a magic sword. Giant spiders have a 360 degree field of vision. This makes it difficult to surprise them by charging them in the rear. Gain the advantage in melee by charging enemy regiments in the flank or rear. Use ballistic regiments which fire in an arc, mortar, archers, etc. to fire over obstacles. All goblin regiments fear wood elves. You should engage goblin regiments with wood elves wherever possible. Well, by the time I got wood elves, um, there were no more goblins. So, maybe this is for like PvP or like... I could use this in the other campaigns, prob probably. The uh, mod campaigns. Cavalry regiments can be held back as a quick response force. Charging the enemy from the rear can be highly effective. Mounted enemy regiments should be engaged by your own cavalry to even the odds. Some undead will collapse and die if made to flee. Break them by charging them in the rear with powerful regiments. That's zombies and whites. Your regiments become more skilled and can carry an extra magic item each time they gain an experience level. Trolls can regenerate wounds, unless caused by fire, making them hard to kill. They're also quite resistant to magic. Attacking, attack, rout, attack routing enemies with magic or ranged fire, your own golden experience and lessen their chances of rallying. Target and destroy enemy magic users quickly before they inflict too much damage on your enemies. Mummies are particularly vulnerable to flame magic. Hit them with bright magic and very bright and very magic items. That's what I was doing. Tree men hate all green skins. You should engage green skin regiments with tree men wherever possible. Again. Maybe if we helped the tree men, but I think that was also an uh, undead mission and not orc mission, so. If your wizard has a transportation spell, transport behind your enemy, cast at them and transport back to safety. That's what I've been doing for a few times. You can cast up to three instances of some spells at once. Click up the spell, click on the spell the required number of times if you're casting. That's fireball and um, dispel magic. Tree men are particularly vulnerable to flame attacks, so keep them away from fire. Enemy wizards who can be difficult to defeat with magic. Enemy wizards can be difficult to defeat with magic, so try hitting them with artillery or missile fire instead. Night goblins hate dwarves. Try to engage night goblins with other regiments if possible. When sending a regiment to engage an enemy magic user in melee, cast dispel magic on the regiment first. Use combinations of spells to inflict maximum damage. For example, cast Snow Blizzard followed by Flamestorm. That's OP, man. Charging a fast regiment close to Night Goblins can release the fanatics and allow your regiments to escape to safety. Ah oh, yeah, charge past them, so they will release the fanatics. Then they'll just swirl around and not hit any of your troops. Dwarves hate all the greenskins. Engage greenskin regiments with dwarves wherever possible, except for night goblins. Don't be afraid to retreat if the battle is going badly. It takes a stronger man to know when he cuts his losses and run. I don't run. You are victorious. Oh yeah, look at this. Rest in peace, uh, ogres. You are victorious. The Dread King has been conquered and his army collapses in the wake of his destruction. You earned 8,616 gold. Well, that spent all of that gold. So yeah, the ogres are no longer in my uh, troop roster as well. 
It's like, you're dead? Okay, bye. Get kicked out. Instantly. How much money do we have after the end of the campaign? Let's see, this is all maxed out. Some infantrymen. In the end, in this campaign, normally I don't use my infantrymen that much. In this campaign I actually use them quite a bit. Which I'm happy for. They're quite a decent unit. Steam tank is gonna say goodbye. Give the dwarves a bit of armor. Give the pistol leaders a bit of armor. There we go. Everything's maxed out. We still have 7k left. We could do a few more missions. If there were any. Let's uh, continue. Here we go. Aftermath. Grudgebring recovery. 32 kills. 6 dead. 591 experience. Grudgebring infantry. 7 kills. 6 dead. 293 experience. Mostly mummies I believe. The crossbows. 53 kills. 547 experience. Mainly uh, skeletal archers. Cannon. 22 kills. 422 XP. Those are mostly mummies I believe. Uh, now that I think of it, I think the Grudgebringer Infantry is the one who took down the uh, the Dread King. I mean, these are mainly mummies, so they got a decent amount of experience. But look at this whopping experience, with only 7. So I'm pretty sure the infantry got the kill there. Bright Wizard, 19 kills, a whopping 1,849 XP. Okay, maybe he took out the Necromancer and then, I don't know. Imperial Steam Tank, 23, 487. Mortar 8, 142. Ogres, well, they were a meat shield. They held on for quite a long time. Unfortunately, they died at the end. Ragnar Wolves, 14 kills, 9 dead, 370 experience. The Wood Elf Archers, a whopping 1000 XP as well. 48 kills and 9 dead. Really good there. The Black Pyramid, safe. Well, I'm not sure if we return to Altdorf, actually. Let's see. Nope. So, it's a bit of an open ending this time. We don't get like a, a little uh, closure like we had in Shadow of the Horn Red. Basically, once you beat it, you get a little cutscene where Commander Bernard stabs the Dread King. And then it's dead. And that's it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys a little bit what I was referring to. Like the mods. Um, it's over here. I got these on the Dark Omen forum. It's like a very active forum f still for Dark Omen players. So this is the original game. You got the Undead and Skaven campaign, the Chaos Light Mod campaign, the Wood Elf campaign, Chaos Dwarf campaign, Rise of the Dead campaign, Goblins, uh, WD, uh, Warmer Dark Omen Hard Mod campaign, Dwarves, Goblins, Rise of the Dead, Default Plus Plus Mixed Army campaign, Goblin campaign, Dwarf campaign, Enhanced Edition 2019 campaign, Dark Omen 2 campaign and multiplayer beta, Dark Omen Expanded campaign, and Fair Omen the multiplayer. So I did try this one before, and I did try some of these other ones, but mainly they are the same levels. Um, there's different units, so you're fighting with different units, and um, the story still plays out the same way like it did with Commander Bernard. So it's more like a soft mod, they didn't put any new uh, storyline in there. Maybe some of these did. I haven't tried out all of them yet. I know this one is um, a hands edition. is similar to this, but the choices you make are slightly different. So when you make a choice, you no longer have the option to make another choice. Like here, you can first do the side mission and then go back to the main mission. Here, if you decide to do the side mission, uh, you might skip the next mission and go straight to the f second mission. So it's more like the choices you make here are... Um, what would you call it? The choices you make here uh, have more impact, I impact, have more influence of what you're doing. For anyone interested to try and play Warhammer Dark Omen, I'll try leaving a link down in the subscription to uh, get the mod pack as well, to get it running, because uh, Shadow of the Horned Red, I bought that one from uh, Good Old Games. It's quite easy to uh, install and play. Dark Omen, on the other hand, uh, has not been released by them, and it's kind of hard to... Uh, to get this up and running. I own the physical CD of Warhammer Dark Omen, but if I just insert it and install it, it's not gonna run. It's not gonna run on my PC. You need to mod pack it. And these guys helped me out greatly. So um, yeah, I'll definitely be uh, dropping a link down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. So thank you guys for watching. This was Warhammer Dark Omen Let's Play by Final Fantasy Fan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will probably um, start off with 
Mark of Chaos after this. Because I think that is uh, the only game of Warhammer that is still somewhat close to Shadow of the Horned Red and Dark Omen. And after that we might play some other uh, Warhammer games. Maybe Man of War. Maybe Mordheim. I'm a, I'm a huge sucker for Mordheim. Can be hard and um, can be quite hard and unforgiving at sometimes. But again, so can these games. It all comes down to RNG. So that's it, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching. If you like the video, please leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, you'd like to help out, please consider subscribing yourself. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be updated with more content as I release them on my YouTube channel. If you have any tips, comments or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as I can. This is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next Let's Play.